and I heard a boom and I felt the, the uh, house shake. Uh, I ran outside, I heard people screaming. And I started to see white smoke, no flames yet, puffs of, uh, of explosion, and then flames started. Yeah, I couldn't see across the uh, waterway here. The flames were huge. Uh, the sky was blacked out, uh, I literally I could not see. Within five minutes, it was all like up in flames and, and big black clouds. And a rude wake-up call close to 7 this morning for the entire Hendricks Isle neighborhood. It only took minutes for a 35-foot boat docked behind the Kiramar Villas to turn into a wall of flames and smoke. Everyone heard the explosion then. And then I heard um, a lot of screaming, like very, like very painful kind of screaming or very scared. She was sitting on the floor just crying and screaming and the baby was sitting on her. And then um, the owner of the boat was just walking around and and he was trying to calm his wife down. Bart Lopresti from New Jersey was on the boat sleeping. His girlfriend and their four-year-old son, Chase, who you see here, were with him. Lopresti's friends of six years who managed the villa say Bart was the only one hurt. Uh, Bart, the boat owner, uh, came out and he was he was burning. You know, he was, had burns on, on his body and his hair and his face. And the skin was peeling off his hands. He was His hair was burned off. Firefighters were on the scene pretty quickly. It took them 15 minutes to get this one under control, but the damage was done. Lopresti's boat, where that fire began, a total loss. The flames quickly spread to two other boats. A sailboat also totaled. Fire investigators don't know what caused this explosion at this point, and the morning drama summed up in a few words. It blew up again, and then the flames really went crazy.